Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the day after Cyber Monday. We survived. <laughs> Barely, I would say. Today's video is my November roundup. So we're gonna go through my favorites, my empties and things I have tried. Again, as a reminder, I am doing a finish a thousand euros of products by the end of the year. And I also have a project pan running, uh, which will be the next video actually. So during my empties, I'll give you an update on that. Whereas the project pan update you will see in the next video. But let's start with my favorites and I have most of them on my face today because that's just what I've been wearing uh, this whole month and loving a lot. So starting from my foundation, you might have seen my Neve Cosmetics uh, one brand tutorial. I have been loving this uh, Star System foundation. I have two shades, light, warm and medium warm and I mix them depending on if I self tan, if I don't. And uh, yeah, just uh, none of the two is my perfect shade. So I, I tend to mix them. But this is the first stick foundation that I tried that I don't dislike and that for my oily skin doesn't look horrible. The coverage is medium but buildable. You can see it on me now. Um, it still looks like skin. It blends really well, uh, I prefer with a brush, but you can see the application and the finish in the other video on the, where I apply these. So I, I've been loving these and they have been a great discovery. Love, love, love the Neve Cosmetics foundation. Then for powder, I have been mattifying with this Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. And I've been using this with a small brush just in the center of my face. Also favorite, this small brush. This is the Morphe E48. And I use this to pack the powder very concentrated on this area around my nose uh, and on my chin. Because I have oily skin, I need something to mattify. So this one has been doing a great, great job. I had heard a lot of hype. The, the finish is very velvety. It is definitely very matte, but I really, really like it. And it does a great job during the day. Again, I have it on the center of my face today. However, this I use only in the center of my face. What has been the discovery of the year, I guess, of my lifetime of makeup skin wise has been this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette. This is the Unlocked, which was uh, a limited edition not the one for the holidays because I think that's the number two. Um, this is what it looks like. You have two ambient lighting powders, um, a bronzer, highlight and two blushes. Um, what I have been doing is mattifying the center of my face and then using this lighter shade to set everything else. Also under my eyes where I've been seeing that mattifying powders tend to show my uh, lines a little bit more. Um, these ones instead diffuse very well. Plus my skin is just so glowy. The photos, I have been having a lot of compliments on how my skin looks and it really is absolutely down to these. I never tried the ambient lighting. This gloss is everywhere. I never tried the ambient lighting powders because with oily skin, I thought that would not be a good idea. Um, and uh, I decided to get this palette because it had everything in it and it was as expensive as two of the, of the full size palettes. Um, one good thing is that the girls at Beauty News destroyed it and showed that it has 50% more product than what it says in the back. So um, that is also awesome. Now we understand also the price and why it's not actually more expensive than buying the full size ones. So I am actually, yeah, really happy with this. I can travel with this, the bronzer, um, which I have also on today, and the blushes, they're so luminous and beautiful. I can't stop raving about this. If you can find it, get it. And uh, I think the only thing that I would change is the shades of these two setting powders because this one is even a little bit dark for me. So I can't imagine it working for people with lighter skin tones and the, the darker one of the two I never ever even touched. So yeah, that's the only thing. Uh, maybe making two versions, one for lighter skin tones and one for darker would be better like NARS does. But uh, anyways, uh, I can't rave about this more. And uh, 
For that, I am using my Morphe E3 to use the powder all over my face. And I've been loving the quality of this Elite uh, line of Morphe is really, really good. I, I really like it. Uh, they have kept their shape and they have not been shedding. There is definitely a difference between these ones and their regular line. I like this brush, but you can see it's um, more messy, less, uh, the, fi the, the fibers are less, cut less precisely. This one sheds um, more than this one. I really like the Elite range of Morphe. Definitely a favorite, not only for this month. Then coming to the eyes, you might see this beautiful sparkle that I have. I did a very, very simple eye look today using only three eyeshadows and they are from the Dose of Colors Desi XKD Friendcation Palette. First of all, look at this packaging. It looks like a clutch. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, not my style, maybe I wouldn't go out with a clutch like this, but it's absolutely beautiful and super glittery. But uh, inside, which is uh, the most important part, you have your basic mattes, and I used this light one and this transition shades today on my eyes, but you have a dark brown and you have a medium brown and a medium red brown, more red toned. And I think these mattes cover everything you need to make the structure of an eye look. But then what makes this palette special and what makes it worth it is actually the shimmers. The shimmers have a very unique um, glitter formula that is amazing. I, I don't have anything like this, honestly. Um, it reminds me maybe a little bit of the Super Shock Shadows by Colourpop, the effect those give, but those are cream and those are in little pots and they have to stay closed. So the formula is different. The effect is maybe similar. Um, I, I don't know. I definitely am so impressed with this palette. I did a lot of looks with it this, this month. I, I've been obsessed, 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 obsessed. It was on sale on Beauty Bay for the um, their, their Black Friday November sales and uh, at that price it would have been even better. I bought it full price for 50 euros. That's a bit steep, I think, for a palette like this. 40 would have been more like it and I think in sale it was 35 and that would have been the perfect price for it, according to me at least. But amazing formula. Um, the glitters are beautiful, the, even the dark, dark um, blue-black, I used it on a black base and oh, the sparkle, incredible. And then this light one is really like a wash of glitter. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'll stop raving about it. I love this palette. For lips, I tried and really, really liked the uh, NYX Slip Tease Lip Lacquers. Today I'm wearing this one right here, it's in the shade Camel, and uh, they're just really good glosses. They're not sticky, they're very pigmented, they're very inexpensive. I've just been really liking them. It was quite a surprise and a great purchase uh, that I did in Milan. Beautiful, beautiful. I have two shades of these, really, really like them. And uh, uh, then I have to reiterate my love for the Neve Cosmetics Pastello in Confusion. It's what I'm wearing under the gloss today. I love the shade. That's just love for the shade. Um, I like the pastellos because you can um, wear them as lipstick by themselves. They're not very drying, they don't look bad. And uh, yeah, this shade is my favorite and um, the one that I keep using consistently since I bought it. I really, really like it. Then, uh, you might have seen my last video, I am on a hair care kick, hair rediscovery. Don't mind it today, it, it's wash day, so it's a little bit of a mess. But um, the trigger to my hair rediscovery was the use of a hair mask, and it's this Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I have got the big size during Black Friday because I had the travel uh, size and I love it so much that um, I wanted to get the full size. This baby is not cheap. But uh, I have rarely found a mask that does incredible things like this one does to my hair. Um, it, it really, really conditions uh, the hair. The way I use it is actually when I take a bath, once a week or once every two weeks when I have time to take a bath, I will uh, wash my hair and then put this mask on 
lay back, relax, read a book, listen to an audiobook or a podcast and leave it in for as much as I stay in the bath and then rinse it out at the end. And the, my hair is so soft and fluffy. It's incredible. It's like a completely different feel from what my hair is usually. So I am uh, absolutely loving, loving, loving this mask. Now let's move on to things I tried and uh, new insights. I will start with a mascara. I tried this little travel size of the Marc Jacobs Omega Lash Volumizing Mascara. I have it on today. I did not have the greatest um, experience with it at the beginning and let me tell you why. I usually used the um, Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and the primer underneath. This is what the primer looks like and I had it, I did one coat of this and then the mascara two coats on top. That did not work with this mascara. The lashes were clumpy, ugly, did not look more lengthy, did not look more volumizing. Then I started using it by itself and now I think I actually like it. I think it does less lengthening than my Maybelline mascara but um, the, with this one it looks my lashes look more wispy and natural and furry, so to say, and less, um, uh, let's say, artificial. I don't know how to explain it. it. It looks a little bit more natural and still black and volumizing, let's say. I miss the length uh, of uh, using my primer with my mascara, but um, yeah. I'm not disliking it. I, it's not worth buying full size for the price of it. I, I don't know what the price is, but I'm sure it's ridiculous being Marc Jacobs. I would never buy the full size, but I am enjoying the, the uh, travel size. Then you might have seen in my November shop, my stash, that I pulled out these three Anastasia Beverly Hills palette this month. And um, I kind of fell out of love with soap culture a little bit. Maybe I haven't had enough time to play with it properly, but I have been using it and I have been having a, a hard time to do a quick and dirty makeup in the morning. And I think that's the problem. I am now just doing my makeup in the morning before work and this is not that type of palette. So, eh, I fell a little bit out of love with it. The colors I still absolutely love, but whilst it was a very original when it came out, now everybody's doing the yellows, the teals, the, the burgundies. Everybody's doing this color scheme, so it's not unique anymore. Eh, I'm a little bit in between. Um, I have nothing to do about it, but that was just an update on my feelings with uh, subculture lately. Then I had purchased Sultry and I've been using it uh, this uh, month to yeah, test it out. I finally used the coral once and I was actually blown away by how beautiful it looks. So I have to say it still doesn't fit the palette at all, but it's a beautiful shade. And it, the looks I made, the look I made with it was actually really, really nice. It's the one I had in my hair video, actually. So you can see that I really, really liked it. And I have to say, I am pleasantly surprised by this palette. Um, the shimmers are as beautiful as I expected. The thing that I really, really miss is mid-toned mattes because you have this light, these two light ones. Like I set my. Um, primer with this, then I have this as, as, as cool tone transition, this as warm tone transition, and then you have this really, really dark brown. And this is almost too dark to do a, a, a look, a, a nice gradient without spending a lot of time in blending. So since I'm not about that life, I've been, uh, I've been pulling out soft glam again and uh, using all of the medium tones that are in here, especially these two. Uh, which down here actually if you look at it but I don't want to blind you um, these two down here these have been the perfect transition shades to use together with the shimmers from subculture sultry sorry these mirrors are sending my camera to crazy land but um, yeah so I've been trying these two they work really really well together but I can't put sultry in my favorites because I can't use it by itself um, even though the shimmers are really really beautiful I can't really recommend it 
because you can't use it as a palette by itself. I like it and I'm happy with my purchase, but it's not something I would rave about, if I can say that. Um, so yeah, those are those. Then uh, there's gonna be a review on these, but if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me whine about it. And I've heard also that I have had a lot of bad experiences with makeup lately, and that is true. But the most uh, um, striking one is this, here. I placed an order for Black Friday with We Makeup. We Makeup is an Italian cosmetics brand and they sell eyeshadow singles, customizable palettes, pre-made palettes, as well as liquid lipsticks. Now I customize my own palette. I, I am terrible at this, but I can't pass on a customizable palette. So this is the color scheme I came up with. I love it. I love it. Absolutely. I got all of my staple neutrals up here, some colorful mattes, some colorful shimmers, and this duochrome, um, which is very similar to Blue Brown by MAC. I love the shimmers. They work great, but these colorful mattes are such a fail for me. Uh, I haven't been able to make them work. Now, this is just a first impression, but I wanted to let you know it's an, just an update for now. I will have a full review with swatches and demonstration of what the problem is with these mats. But I know a lot of people are very tempted to try them or get them for Christmas or because it's, it's nice that you can make your own palette and a lot of people just want to be able to do that without um, spending uh, five or six euros a, a pan. The, this full size palette is I think 49 euros full price and then they already had two times a sale in which it went down to 39. You got 15 shades in here so it, it's a big palette for that money but I really don't think it's worth the price. Um, you are better off getting other eyeshadows like Nabla's new mattes, which I am still loving, I'm still using a lot, um, or Makeup Geek or Colourpop. Like, just get Colourpop, you get what, 16 shades for $20? Just get Colourpop. So, yeah, just a quick update on that. Then I've talked about this on uh, Instagram too. I have finally uh, dug in to my uh, The Ordinary L Ascorbic Acid Powder. This is 100% vitamin C powder and uh, you cannot just rub it on your face. It would do nothing. So uh, what they say is that you have to mix it in with a serum and the one I chose and also it's kind of recommended uh, in the groups that I follow is the resveratrol 3% and ferulic acid 3%. This is a very strong antioxidant and with the um, vitamin C together they make uh, an incredible daytime serum that both protects your skin from free radicals damage and uh, oxidation so damage to the skin so I've been now trying it for at least two weeks I think one or two weeks um, and uh, I cannot tell if my skin is doing anything. It tingled a little bit at the beginning uh, what I do is I use half a scoop or less of the a little scoop that they give you with a powder and then four or five drops of the serum on my face. I don't know that I see incredible um, effects but my skin looks good so I am actually quite happy with it. I only get spots during my period so um, so far my skin has been really nice but I've been trying these two. I wanted to tell you how I use them and that's about it. I'll uh, report back if I actually see uh, a real good improvement. Also, this L ascorbic acid is 20 grams. It will never finish. Like, it will never end. Time now to go through empties. I'm gonna try to speed this up because we're already here for 20 minutes. Um, I finished my Shiseido facial cotton. Um, these I got last year in November with the VIB sale in America and you can't get them in Europe. So since my husband is in America for a conference this week, he's coming back with two packs of these. <laughs> um, they are definitely very, very good cotton pads. I cut them in half and they lasted me a year. So for 
I'm fine with it. I do not use them to remove my makeup. I have a um, muslin or microfiber cloths for that, but I use them to apply my serums and uh, they absorb less product than other cotton. They feel so much softer on the skin and uh, with using only half of it, it's actually quite doable. I really, really like it. Finished that one, unfortunately, but I have two more coming by the end of the week, so that's great. Then I also finished my Aloe Soothing Moist Toner. I have this one in a uh, spritzer, actually, and I have finished both. So I, w I had this big one and I put it in a spritzer because whereas I found that my acids and treatment toner, so with active ingredients, should be applied with a cotton pad to have nice spreading and, and uh, uh, rubbing it into the skin, Anything that is hydrating, I like it in a mist. Also, you get a lot of it, you can tap it in, kind of like what uh, the Korean 7 Skin Method prescribes, just tapping it in until it's absorbed. You can spritz some more if you feel like it. It's also great to just uh, spritz all over your face. So I liked this one, it was very refreshing and um, a nice toner. What is good about this one is that there is no water. It's on an aloe base, uh, it is aloe vera based, so it, there's no water in the ingredients. I cannot read them for you because they're in Korean, I believe, but um, that is what Gotamisa told and I believe her. <laughs> then I finished a uh, dry shampoo. This is the Cola uh, Dry Shampoo Active. I liked this one. I rarely use dry shampoo, so this took me a year to finish and I will not be repurchasing a dry shampoo, at least not in full size. I might get a smaller one, but these last me so long that, um, I don't know, I don't think it's worth getting a big size um, at all. Um, I did like it, nothing wrong with it, no cast, easy to use, that is that. Then uh, I finished the Cosrx Master Patch, um, Pimple Master Patch, sorry, it's covered, but uh, these are little, uh, patches that you put where you have a breakout and they help to extract the and and reduce inflammation extract whatever is there and make them come to a head earlier or just reabsorb um, it can go two ways <laughs> uh, either way is fine with me as long as it is uh, faster healing than uh, usual I use this at night I just apply them uh, right after my BHA toner so that I have salicylic acid on the spot and then I put this one on top and they're great. I have two backups of it. I love it. I have finished a travel size of the Joico Intense Hydrator Treatment for uh, Damaged and Dry Hair. This is from their K-Pack line. I actually didn't see any anything from this. Maybe I didn't let it sit long enough, uh, but it says three to five minutes and I usually apply it uh, after my shampoo, I put it on and then I go through my shower routine and I usually take a little bit longer uh, so to, that I have enough time for the mask to um, yeah, do its job. But I didn't see anything special so I will not be repurchasing that one. Um, it could be also that I don't have dry hair but I have damaged hair so I need more repair, hence the Briogeo mask. Um, rather than uh, uh, hydration. So maybe that's just, it's not suited to my hair type. I have here also a sachet of the Kiehl's Turmeric and Cranberry Seed Energizing Radiant Mask. This was quite nice actually. Um, I used it, I think, three times in this sachet. And uh, you have these little uh, cranberry seeds that you can, you apply the mask, you let it sit and then you massage with a little bit of water so that you also get a little bit of physical exfoliation. I don't think it's necessary. I haven't needed physical exfoliation since I started using my retinol again. So I didn't need it, but I liked this mask. I don't think it's, again, you don't need to spend uh, Kiehl's price for masks. I don't think they make such a great difference to the skin, but uh, I liked it. Then I took baths this month, which is like incredible because I haven't had time in the seven months that we've been living here to take any baths. But this month I did and I used up two Lush bath bombs. This is um, Cheer Up Buttercup. I did not per se like this a lot, but it had some glitter and it was cute. What I really liked was this other one. This is called Avo Bath. 
um, and I kept the bags just to remember the names. I really liked Abo Bath because it was really hydrating and nourishing to my skin. Um, whereas uh, Cheer Up Buttercup just smelled nice and it was pretty. I really felt the effects of Abo Bath on my skin. So yeah, if I have to choose, I would buy Abo Bath again. Then I told you about the new um, daytime serum I'm using and that is in substitution to the UK 134. I wouldn't repurchase this. It's a bit more oily than the Ferulic and uh, it's an antioxidant so you should use it during the day. Um, yeah, I, nah. I haven't seen uh, any adverse effects since I stopped using it and I couldn't see any incredible effects while I was using it so I'm just happy it's over. Um, finished to the last drop and it will just go into my collection of uh, the ordinary bottles. Then I also finished a travel size of the Pixie Glow Tonic. I keep using this because I like um, uh, the fact that I am exfoliating daily. Uh, I use this a little bit less now because I am doing BHA plus retinol in the evening. And what I was doing before was alternating BHA plus retinol one evening and then I was using AHL, AHA and azelaic acid another evening. And uh, yeah, now I simplified it a little bit doing only one evening routine. I might go back to it um, when I want to phase out the retinol a little bit, but uh, yeah, so far I've been liking that better. Um, yeah, it's just a nice AHA toner, not too potent. You really need to use it for a long time to see a uh, positive effect. Then uh, I finished a, a mini size of the Laneige uh, lip mask. I like this. I use it at night. I put it next to my um, nightstand, next to my bed, um, and I put it on at night. And the thing I like about this is that in the morning I still have moisturized, uh, uh, nourished lips. Someone suggested that maybe it's because this one doesn't absorb at all, but that's kind of the thing for me at night. I just want my lips to not dry out. And um, yeah, this one does the job. Anything else I have tried, I wake up with dry lips, which yeah, maybe the, the, the products then absorb better, but I actually need something that will protect my, uh, my lips the whole night so that I don't, they don't dry out. So I've been liking this. I bought it full size. Final empty is this Origins um, clear improvement mask and I liked it. I cut off the top to get all of it out but I I didn't see that great of an effect um, that would justify spending much more money than what is a um, clay mask from the health shop here. We have Holland and Barrett for example do a green, a yellow clay mask, a white, a pink clay mask. You can pick whatever clay you want for a mask and I like the green clay mask from that so I was using this uh, but I couldn't really justify uh, spending a lot of money to get a full size of it where the other one is like less than a quarter of the price. So it was nice but I would not repurchase. So that was it for my empties bag this month. When it comes to finish a thousand by the end of the year, I am at 915 euros by the end of November. So I should be able to reach it because I've been averaging 90 euros a month uh, lately. So I should be able to reach the thousand by the end of the year. Ah, it's been a tough one. I really need to crank up the, the, the empties here, but yeah, unfortunately it's not, I have only one face and, um, that uh, has brought me to think a lot, but we will discuss the consequences um, of this project plan when I uh, close it up, as well as just uh, a little bit of an announcement for next year. I have already decided not to buy anything anymore. <laughs> not so drastic, but I will be going into a low buy as of today, actually, uh, day after Cyber Monday, um, until I see fit. Uh, I spent a little bit too much money and I think it's ridiculous and I did an inventory and I have way too much makeup. So um, I'm gonna do a whole explanation video for that and we're gonna get through it a little bit more in detail. But that was it for today's video. I think I have a feeling it's it's gonna be a forever long video. If you made it so far, thank you so much. 
I love you guys and uh, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me in the comments any thoughts about the products, um, if you picked up anything special during uh, Black Friday and uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!